So following, we're going to see a demonstration of the actual conductive keratoplasty procedure. Here's the closed bladed wired lid speculum that serves as the ground for the complete uh, radio frequency circuit. The cornea is marked with a specially designed marker that has hash marks at 6, 7, and 8 millimeter diameters. The continuous circle there, centered around the center of the pupil, is at 7 millimeters. So the inner tip is at 6 millimeters, the continuous circle is at 7 millimeters, and the outer hash part of the hash mark is at uh, 8 millimeters. We make sure that the hydration of the cornea is uniform, and that's why you saw the irrigation followed by the drying of the fornices. The keratoplast tip, it's important that we depress the eye before stepping on the uh, foot pedal. The foot pedal releases the CK energy. You can see the perpendicular orientation. You can see the stopper, which is ensuring the 450 micron excursion of the tip. Um, the setting on the, on the uh, viewpoint CK console is for a 0.6 second duration of treatment. You can uh, see that we first start at the 12 o'clock spot, go proceed then to the 6 o'clock spot, um, and then the 3 and 9 o'clock spots uh, thereafter. We like to begin at the 7 millimeter zone, followed by the 6 millimeter, then the 8 millimeter zone in cases of higher treatments. In fact, there are 32 spot treatments where we also apply an additional treatment application in between the hash marks and at the seven millimeter zone. You'll see the stria developing between the treatment applications in the mid peripheral cornea and that's what forms that belt around that zone of the cornea steepening the central portion. This is a very well uh, centered treatment and again I can't emphasize enough the importance of centering the treatment on the center of the entrance pupil. The entire CK procedure can be done in less than three minutes and we're nearing the close of the procedure here. Um, we've seen the leucomas that, that form after each application and they're, they're, noted, they're notable but they're somewhat more faint than you'll see with something like LTK or laser thermal keratoplasty. Again, care is taken to make sure that the tip is inserted in a perpendicular orientation to the cornea. We look at the tip after each application to make sure that there are no epithelial plugs that have developed. So as you can see, the procedure can be performed comfortably in less than three minutes. The accuracy of the achieved refraction with conductive keratoplasty is quite similar to what we've seen with hyperopic LASIK. In other words, in our cohort in the FDA clinical trials of 358 eyes, We've seen at uh, the 12 month point over 60% of eyes within a half diopter of the intended correction and nearly 90% within one diopter of the intended correction at the one month interval. In addition, we've seen over 90% of eyes uh, are 20, 40 or better at the 12 month uh, time interval. 75% of eyes 2025 or better at the 12 month point and over 50 percent of eyes seeing 2020 or better at the one year interval.